Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We're jumping in again. We're carrying on with our streak of just doing some modded characters to try and get some interesting unlocks. Uh, we did greed mode last time. Honestly, we could probably do greed mode again as one of the characters. Uh, I'm just going to hop into a run as Golem and see what we've got going on as Golem because I haven't done Golem in quite some time. And there's probably some interesting unlocks here. Let's have a little look-see. Um... We've done Mother as Golem. We we haven't done Delirium. We haven't done Boss Rush. We haven't done Beast. Let's try and do a Beast run as Golem here. Why not? It's been a little while since I played as this fella. He's quite fun, of course. Uh, so let's give it a go. Um, one of these grinds for free, and I never remember which one. I think it's this one. And this one we crush. Get some extra HP. Beautiful. You now leave a trail of stationary tears when you move damage scales with your damage frequency scales with your max fire delay. Okay, so not very good, but kind of okay. Chance of fire, God's flesh tears, um, also not very good, but hey ho. We will see how these go, and we'll just play a run and see what happens. This is kind of an interesting room, actually. <laughs> Basically, there's a super unlikely chance you can get all the pennies, but... You can. Oh, okay, this is... I like this as a room. That's kind of cool. Obviously, it's not much to garner from that room, but I like it. And we get ourselves uh, a good old bit of Virgo. And as you guys so proudly, so proudly pointed out in a previous episode, I completely forgot that Virgo makes it... Excuse me, that guy spawned on top of me. Um, Virgo makes it so that all of your pills um, are positive. So... My bad. <laughs> I was literally in the run talking about why I don't take pills sometimes. Meanwhile, I had Virgo and literally had zero reason not to take pills. So my bad. Uh, I will try my best to um, to remember this time. I will try my best. Unfortunately, I've been hit a few times here. Not ideal. I'm kind of liking this um, this whole leaving tears stationary tears behind thing. I think. If we can get our max tier delay to a really good point, it could be really good, especially considering it deals our damage. Like, that's that's really good. Get that head away from me, sir. I mean, basically anything that chases us, we're now dealing more damage to, which I, I literally always love. Um, I'm just going to quickly pop in here, and do you know what? This Will will this reach both of them? I'm going to try and waste a bomb on this and see. Literally, no, it did not. Okay. I'm going to waste a lot of bombs here. Oh, come on now. That's a bit fucking mean. Anyways, let's hop down here. I'm pretty sure it's four cents to, to do a reroll here. Yeah, I'm going to reroll this one because I just don't feel like God's Fleshes are all useful. Isaac farts when taking damage, spawning friendly charmed little bugs when crushed. Unfortunately, that also is pure garbage. Um, We can't really get much done with that, but... Hey, her. We have it now. Oh, come on now. I'm getting hit way too much right now. We also need to try and find secret room here whenever possible. Okay. Good, good. A lot of bombs coming our way right now, which is something I can't really tear my nose apart. Secret room. I'm probably convinced it was here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Chance to fire petrifying tears. Grants a random baby when crushed. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think we'll, um, go back in here. We'll smush this one down, because it's terrible. There you go. And we'll, we'll grab the petrifying tears, because that seems reasonably useful. I might as well also grab this. And maybe use it on the boss. I don't know if the boss will be the best use for this. I like our little bird that we've got going on, I've got to say. Making us into a real cutie right now. And having this little fella, pretty good. Gonna charm things here and there for us. That's not a bad thing at all. Charming little guy. As long as you don't walk into the enemies and kill yourself, you could be quite useful. But you are gonna walk into the enemies and kill yourself, aren't you? As for the question of the day to day, what's the most interesting thing that you found like out and about? Like, 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 do you know, I, I don't know if everyone does this, but, like, when I was younger, I used to, like, pick up all sorts of crap, and I have, like, a really, really huge bolt that I just keep at the side of my desk, 
that I've had since I was a kid that I found. I don't know why, but I just found it really interesting. And like a few like different uh, fossils that I found on the beach and stuff like that. Is there anything like that you picked up as a kid or even as an adult that you that you've kept you found really interesting? I feel like everyone's got something like that. Right, what we got going on here? Just damage up. Okay. Um. So let's go down here real quick. It said that this trinket did something when crushed. So I'm going to go and crush it. It gave us a baby familiar, I think it said. Intruder. Hell yes, that was worthwhile. Intruder's such a good one to get as well. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Um, just straight up damage is real goddamn good here. Uh, especially considering it scales with our tears that we've got going on right now. And we just keep on moving. What we're trying to do here, we're going to try and do the beast, weren't we? Um, I want to try and get a lot of modded character unlocks, basically. Uh, so, in in terms of in terms of streaking, again, I, I kind of, I'm in two minds about it. And I kind of need a vote from you guys. So, I had a few comments from, from a few loyal viewers and um, a few people that have been watching the channel for a while. They weren't a big fan of the streak because I was playing less risky. Like, I obviously, I normally am a big risk taker. And so they were saying, oh, well, you were playing way less risky, which isn't quite as fun. Uh, which I, I, I completely understand. And they were saying as well didn't like that I blacklisted some characters from being part of the streak because they were in inherently too difficult or risky. Um, so basically, on the next streak, should I continue doing what I did last time and play it safe and try and make sure to get the streak as high as I can? Or should I introduce a little bit more risk, um, unfortunately, pretty bad item here, and just see how long we can keep the streak going, with it likely to not be as long as the last one due to playing harder characters like Tainted Lost, or uh, picking up items that may be more risky. I don't know, I, I do like the idea of streaking because I'm like, I, I was liking the idea of, for one, having more of a goal in mind, but also the slightly more methodical way of playing the game. Um, I, I did enjoy that, uh, but I, I want to hear from you guys what sort of your opinion is on what we should do next. At the minute, I'm basically just playing, um, deal minor damage to all nearby enemies. Okay, I'm just going to take that and go and drop it in the crusher. Um, but yeah, at the minute, I, like, during the streak, I really enjoyed having, like, an additional goal, as well as, like, I don't know, it just made the game more fun for me, so I do want to streak again. Um, right. It will, yeah, we'll chop that up. We'll bomb that real quick. I don't know if you can actually bomb that dude there. That's my bad. Um, this, I know, will give us a lower damage up now because it's smelted, but I still think it's very, very worthwhile to smelt. Um, and then what? what was that other thing? Oh, it was the tears. Yeah, I think I'm going to smelt this as well. This seems pretty useful to smelt. I'm guessing it'll slightly lower the frequency at which the tears come out. Yeah, it does. It lowers the frequency. It does, doesn't seem to lower the damage at all, though, which is good. But I really like the idea of these tears following behind us. Now, something I can't remember is how exactly this goddamn item works. Badly <laughs> is how it works. Badly. Yeah, we don't want to be using the scissors. They're, they're pretty crap. Just leaves your body behind, uh, your head behind and just fires with your body, which is only firing our intruder shots and some blood. So not great. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be using the scissors pretty much ever. They just exist now. Aha, you followed me. What a foolish gambit. That was an absolutely fantastic bomb. Like, I'm not even going to stress about that, because that was just amazing. <laughs> that troll bomb was a hunter-seeker drone. Made its way towards me and went for the kill. God damn. What got going on here? Sadly, not much. Um, I do want to find my shop here, but at the minute I haven't got a key. So it's not an ideal circumstance, I'll be honest. Little horn. Trying to use a uh, lump of lump of coal, not lump of coal. You know what I mean. Uh, ball of bandages, where I can here, because it is good damage. There you go. We got him. Um, soap box is pretty interesting. We'll take that. 
And then here we've got um, one fourth chance to fire a small barrage of mysterious liquid tears instead of normal tears. Grant Skolum starting. Okay, I uh, definitely want to take that then. Um, I like mysterious liquids, so that's good for me. And we'll see if we can get a key going to our shop here, but not super likely. Just we've got a lot of money to work with right now. So I would like to work with it. I do not like the fact that the room is absolutely covered in red fires. Oh, okay, that is a big barrage, and we did indeed get a key, so that worked out pretty well for us. And we got a very, very good item out of it as well. Okay, this was all very worthwhile. Right, through here into the boss room. I could smelt this now, but I don't need to, so I'm not going to. And we will head on to the next floor. So far, I'm reasonably pleased with this run. Uh, our items that we've gotten from item rooms haven't been good. But um, our things that we've got, our trinkets so far have been very good. Also, our secret room look and the amount of bombs we've been given has been very, very nice to help us out with... Uh, Getting a lot of different trinkets going. I like that. I like that as well. Chance to reroll pickups into sacks. That's pretty good. Generally, uh, basically giving us a slightly weaker sack head is pretty nice. No thanks, buddy. No thanks. We're going to need another key, please, because we do have a uh, options item room coming our way. I have waited way too long in this room. That is a shame. Could have got in there a bit quicker and saved myself the hassle of doing this little puzzle. Not exactly a puzzle, but you know what I mean. I'm hoping we get some fire rate increases soon to improve our damage output, but also to improve our little shots that we're firing. The mysterious liquid shots are really good because uh, they leave that lingering sort of stuff on the ground behind as well. More bombs coming our way, but as I said, keys is the thing that we need right now. Oh baby, keys. It's all that I need. There you go, baby. Ask and you shall receive. I don't know why, but that does work quite often for me. Um, maybe you, everyone that's having a hard time with Isaac at the minute should start talking to themselves while they're playing and see if uh, see if the game just gives them what they want when they talk about it. Because it seems to happen for YouTubers a lot. <laughs> that might be the defining factor. That might be why YouTuber look exists. It's because we, we set it forward into the world that that's what we want. We say it clearly and the game understands us. Most people don't talk to themselves about their game while they're playing it. That's your mistake. That's your big mistake. See? Another key. We've got our shop and our item room lined up for this floor already, baby. It's beautiful. Good thing is as well, on a beast run, we don't need to worry too much about how quick we're being. Uh, eh, that's probably worth it, to be honest. Yeah, I was going to say, if we get a few keys out of it, it saves us for the next few floors. Puts us in a good spot. I wonder if this mysterious liquid thing scales with our luck at all. I didn't actually check. I don't think it did say anything about that, but sometimes it doesn't say, sometimes it does. But it's just like having an extra monstrous lung, uh, like, shot and, like, lead pencil, kind of, but with a bit more oomph. As I said, I'm going to be taking pills all the time here. I will remember that I've got Virgo right now. My god, this 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 poop is like probably one of the worst poops in the game. It's so difficult. Right, okay. We got our options here. So unfortunately, yet again, not particularly great. Um I guess we take this, but I'm not particularly enthused about it. Yeah, that's it's kind of annoying that uh, our item rooms have just been very meh. But this character relies more on uh, more on your trinket game and stuff like that, so understandable. Just annoying as all. Well. You stop spewing out kids. Um, standing uh, still near a pickup re-rolls it every three seconds. An individual pickup can only be re-rolled re up to three times. Okay, this, that, that seems really good to me. So let me go and, 
uh, check out our shop real quick. Shop is pretty much useless. And we don't have the ability to smell in here, which is slightly sad, so... Guaranteed to grind into a rarer rock. Okay, so we'll grind this bad boy. Periodically gives the player Ipecac for one shot. That seems bad. Hmm. I don't know it's not that bad. I'm still, still going to smell it anyways, because, yeah. Makes life easier. And then, Mysterious Liquid. What's this other one that we got going on here? Chance to reroll stuff. Eh, it's, it's not amazing. We'll, uh... We'll smelt that down. Grab that. And... We will... Keep her going, and I'm going to grab this, because that seems really good. I was hoping to take take that with the ability to uh, reroll into sacks, because that seems like it would be a good synergy, but I'd rather have the um, Ipecac. Not Ipecac shots, you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, the Ipecac shot thing does seem decent, but I feel like it's going to get me hurt a lot when I don't realise I have it. It was cool that it worked with the shots that, that fall behind us, though. My bad. I'm surprised I didn't do a lot more damage than it did. Our actual damage output right now isn't particularly great. Like I said, our items are just lacking at the minute. We've not got anything that's super good for us yet. Intruder's probably the best item we've got. We didn't even get that from an item room, so... Little annoying, but it is what it is. Um... That's a trinket. That's a regular trinket. That's good for fire rate. I'm happy with that. Um, and we will head on down. Right. Smelt both of these onto us straight away. Good. Try and find our secret room and the like. Yeah, the extra fire rate. Already noticeable. Nice. Do not like those fellas. Take him out immediately. We're getting slowing shots from our little jumpy boy. I like that. This room is a little scary. These enemies are just scary in general. I... I these, these might be a vanilla enemies. These might be the worst enemies in the game for, like, just hitting you randomly. Maybe lumps are a little worse, but... Oh, dude. These items are abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. We're getting really unlucky. And then our goddamn shop has nothing useful in it either. I, su I suppose, actually, the puffer stool is better. Um, but that that's still... Real goddamn annoying that we've got, we've even got two extra, like an extra chance in every item room for it to be good. And I'd, I'd say from item rooms, we've not had a single even worthwhile item yet. Virgo can be argued as pretty good, but Virgo really has limited, like, value, um, to be honest. I'm liking the fact that the spike rocks in here makes things a lot easier. Virgo is like, it can be good, but it also can just not be. Shoop de whoop is better. I'm sorry that I just bought Puffer Stool and I'm going to get rid of it straight away, but um, Shoop de whoop is actual damage, and that is something that we clearly need right now, so I'm happy to, to grab this. That's not Secret Room? Ah, shame. Really thought that would be. It was very, very much framed to be Secret Room. Good. Oh, there's a spider in here, apparently. Where'd you come from, little lad? Yeah, see? Shoop the whoop. Very, very good. Very, very good. Oh, yeah. 
And Froggy Boy, what are you doing? Good. Have we seen any tinted rocks on this run yet? I don't think we have, have we? Not that we need them, but still, it's just weird. Unless I've just missed them, which is also pl uh, very plausible. Fucking crabs, man. Fucking crabs. So where the hell's secret room, then? I'm a, I'm a little confused on where it is. Okay, so first of all, guy in the middle, yeah, gotta go. Did not like you. Now that helped an immense amount. Yeah, Shoop the Whoop is proving itself to be very, very valuable to us. That hit me, goddammit. I tried to move far enough away, but did not work. Why did my intruder not pop out when I got hit there? Is that not what this, this thing's supposed to do? Here's our boss. Okay, so Conquest making everything champions in this room is certainly making life a little harder. By quite a bit, actually. These champions have an insane amount of HP. Okay, good. And then there's another dolphin in here somewhere, apparently. You're a champion as well. God damn it. Everything's a goddamn champion these days. Alright, let's, let's take out you. I still did damage good. I was a little worried it wouldn't. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that fucking taught you, didn't it, boy? That taught you real good. Ooh, hello. We just got a very good trinket, and we also got Golem's Orb here, which is nice. Oddly Smooth Stone is incredible. Um, and dude. <laughs> dude. That's just not great. I'm going to take this because I need the damage, but I'm not particularly happy about it. Yeah, this is this is just not being very good at all, has it? Um, I think we're going to move on down to the next floor. I'm not going to bother with secret room here. But yeah, this, this item room better be. Better be some hot shit. <laughs> so otherwise, I'm going to be a little upset because, yeah, so far, everything has been a little gross. This item room really needs to show me that it cares about me. Speed... Oh, I didn't want to actually pick that up. I was trying to read it, you dingus. You dingus! Game! I wanted to read the thing. Oh, I didn't want to pick it up again, fuck's sake. Right, drop it. What the hell does it do? Um, speed grants a damage the scales of how slow the player up. It's been rerolled because I stood next to it for too long. I forgot that that was a thing. That is very upsetting. <laughs> We're going to reroll once now as well. Okay. Oops, I forgot that was something I could do. My bad. It took a goddamn while to reroll though. Gotta remember that though for like rerolling pennies and stuff. I mean, in a situation like this. We eat good tonight, boys. <laughs> really? Reroll them both into pennies? Not really what I was hoping for in that situation. We good? We are not good. God damn it. We are now good. Key over there. I don't care about you for now. I'll come back to you. Right. Come on. You've got to be good. <sighs> tears remain airborne for a significantly longer time. They decelerate tier, increase tier size. 5% chance to activate the butter bean effect. Monsters directly struck by... Just... Eh. Just eh. It's not what I was hoping for. 
I mean, that was better than our general item room quality has been thus far. But I'd still say pretty poor. I'd still say pretty poor overall. Ow. Didn't think that was going to hit me, but there you go. So this is, yeah, this is just a little bit... I mean, it's not it's not even particularly that much of a struggle bus run. But, it, like, if we, if we weren't playing as Golem right now, this run would be so, so trash. Yeah, th this, this run would be just terrible if this wasn't a Golem run. Because we'd have Vergo, Ball of Bandages, Surf Box... Options, Bomber Boy, Screw, Golem's Orb, Smart Fly. Yeah, this just wouldn't be very good at all. I don't know why I used this in this room. Should have saved it for the boss. Oh, well. Those bombs do nowhere near as much damage as they should. Yeah, we got him. Honestly, Devil Deal is looking very, very appealing right now. Chance to fire a chubber shot that inflicts baited and boomerangs back. Sounds good to me. How many more floors have we actually got? We've only got one more floor to actually get any use out of that. Just isn't very good. These two are an interesting pairing, to be honest. Taking damage down to one heart, uh, damages all enemies in the room, and on depletion, um, what black hearts trigger the on depletion effect when partially damaged. I'm going to take both of these, which isn't a great solution, really, but I need something <laughs> to get me by. Uh, right. I'm just going down to the next floor here, I think. Secret room is somewhere, but I'm at the point now where I just can't. <laughs> the game has pummeled me down. Am I going to try and do um, do the beast with this run? Because I'd say right now, this isn't a very good run for the beast. But I did say I was going to, so I think I'm just going to try it and see what happens. Oh, dude. Twice in a row that enemy has hit me because I was too close to it when it died. Come on, this is our last item room. The last chance to prove yourself to me as worthy of my attention. Come on. You know. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. This is your last chance to prove yourself to me. So please, very much do prove yourself to me. Um, taking, well, let's have a little look-see. First of all, I should have used those barrels more appropriately. My bad. Clear rune. I mean, I'll pick up clear rune at least. Soul of Cain clear rune. That's fun. So, taking damage as a charge of the Blade Malstorm ability. You can hold up to three charges. Double tapping will consume a charge and fire out of Vortex of saw blades, some of which pull enemies into them. I'm going to take that. Why not? Come on, spiders. You can't just stay there forever. That's pretty nice. We can then go and use that again. A lot of red rooms to be looking at here. Good old clear rune. Come in and clutch. Sadly, we haven't got any good rooms out of this yet, but you never... Dude, the amount of battery charges we're getting right now is pretty awesome, I've got to say. My bad.
Oh, dude, what's with these fucking spiders? That just spawn a thousand spiders. Can this spinny bitch stop following me as well? We got a library here. It's a good library as well. Right. One of these rooms be a be something amazing. Good. Sadly, none of these rooms are something amazing as of yet. But this room gives access to the boss trap room, though, which is nice. I think overall that's pretty good. Binky, very nice. Two of you? How dare you? Okay, that's a lot of saw blades. Oh yeah, this this sawblade mailstorm thing is gonna be quite nice. Now it seemingly last quite a while as well. Could be quite good on the beast. Good stuff, baby. Good stuff. I went to all those red rooms. Yep. Okay, things are looking a little bit up. Not a lot up, a little bit up, but still. Um, is this regular secret room here? That it is, that it is. Block upgrade seems good here. Flies when damaged. Grab that real quick and... Uh, quickly go and get rid of it. Throw it here. I don't know where this portal boy came from, but thank you. And where do I want to use this next? Probably in here, right? Where y'all boys at? There you go. Damn it. No special room yet. How dare you. Ah oh, damn, I got really unlucky. Not finding it. A little portal's doing a good job right now. Should re rolled that, my bad. Item room, come on. Dude, <laughs> item rooms have just been awful. I can't re-roll these by standing next to them, I don't think, no. Oh god damn. It's depressing how bad they've been. You can't re-roll a penny into another penny, that's not fair. Or a troll bomb. Oh, they blew up instantly as well, fuck you. I'm upset about this. Very upset about this. I've got to say. Right. Down and through we go. For a bomb. Thank you. These bad boys. Oh, dude, it's, it's not even worth it the amount of time it takes. We just stand next to them for so long. Need a better room to use my clear rune on. The hell's left her. I'm wasting charges here. 
Oh, dude. Why on earth? For one, there's like a beam of sun hitting my screen. I can't ba basically see the left side of it, which is really annoying. But also, every room, no red doors available to us. It's annoying. Fuck it. I'm just going to use it on this one. That wasn't worth it at all. Heck you, game. Double copper bombs. I don't think I need that. Thank you. Ah. Oh, I've just realized we need to quickly grab something. Almost forgot about this. Oh, fuck you, go away. I'm gonna have to leave that behind for a hot second. Seems like the perfect item for Mum, to be honest. Good old fool card. That's a damage up, um, and the player moves slowly, shifting about randomly. How much of a damage up? We go from... Sorry, we go from... Okay, that's very worth it. It's annoying, don't get me wrong, but that's way better. Right, um, full card out here. Now we've got to come back and get our clear out our thingy rune. It's annoying, don't get me wrong, but it's worth the pain for the extra damage. Oh my god, it made me move so slowly then. Where am I going again? Is it here? Oh my god, this is going to be so frustrating. It is what it is. I've committed to this now. I've committed to this idea. Not having mapping here is a bit sad. Him being a rainbow champion is also a bit sad. My goodness. Ow. My portal boy did die, unfortunately. Spawning the red poop might actually be really good on certain bosses. Unfortunately, using our red room thing here is is going to be absolute pain. Oh, we got the this, though. Reveals the location of the ultra secret room. Oh, that's super, super useful this late into the game for us. Thank you. That would have been so good a few floors ago. Fuck's going on all these tears. Or was, this, was this just like a shortcut through the floor? I think it was. Do we have an item room to find here? I don't remember. I think we have an item room to find. Oh, dude, I can't move. I, <laughs> I can't goddamn move. Okay, so we've gone back to the start now. He's gone to the ether. He's yet another room where the movement thing's gonna screw me, isn't it? Where the hell's the boss at?
Right. We got a shop here, unfortunately, not a great one. What the fuck, dude? Excuse me. Get out of here, buddy. I've got saw blades too, game. Don't think you're special. Right. Now I really want to go the right way. So, game, you could do me the honourable thing and stop just taking me the wrong way constantly. That would be absolutely lovely. It's got to be this way, right? Another room where this is pretty valuable, I think. Although I may have brimstoned myself here. Oh, this movement thing is so annoying. The damage is worth it, though. The damage is worth it. Just keep telling myself that. Honestly, at this point, I do not even care if I don't find the item room. It's just... It is what it is. Okay, we found it anyways. Dude, move! My guy, move! Killing enemies grants you tears and speed boost. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, Lodestone would have been so good. Get me out of this floor, goddammit. Get me out of here. How is this not the right way? Where haven't we been? I hate not having mapping. It's the worst. Fucking stop! Oh, I can't move! This is the worst. I hate this run right now. I, I, I honestly just hate not having mapping. It's, it's just gross. Okay, I managed to teleport directly on top of that guy. It's great stuff. I don't even know what's going on anymore. The fuck? Please, end this hell. My dude just moved into that brimstone. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is this? Big no thank you on that. That was gross. <laughs> we lost so much HP there to very unnecessary reasons. It's gone. Just get over it. This movement thing is, is tragic. Heck! What?! Fuck you with your bendy brimstone bullshit. We're gonna need some serious soul hearts if we're actually gonna make it through this. Dude, this... It's honestly... The movement might not be worth the damage. It's honestly absolutely disgusting how horrible this is. Just drag... Like, it, cause it, 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 like, drags you against the grain sort of thing. So, like... You'll be moving forward and it'll drag you backwards so you move at like one tenth speed. No, how? God damn it. Oh, this guy as well. Nah, sorry, but ain't dealing with your bullshit. Let me escape this hell that I've created for myself. The, th the thing is, though, now, I'm so committed to the damage up that I'm getting off of this that I'm not willing to drop it. <laughs> I don't care if it kills me. These rooms are gross as well. These rooms are gross. Dude, it almost pulled me into a shot there. I can barely move. HP up. Nice. Give me that back. It's stopping me aiming well as well. Oh my god, it's awful. We're getting through somehow though, we're getting through. Just like his father. Oh god, I just walked right into that enemy. Nope. 
that okay never take that trinket again either way i hope you guys did enjoy it was a lot of fun but that was that honestly i can i can safely say that that was like one of the most terrible decent runs i've had in a long time it wasn't out and out like an absolute train wreck but our items that we got from our item rooms were just disgusting like we got like two good items over the course of the entire run <laughs> Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.